Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Katie and this last weekend was absolutely amazing. Not only did we hit 100 subscribers, which is our huge goal. Thank you to everybody that has made that happen. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to know whenever we have new videos out, you can hit the little bell notification. And then on Sunday, both of my ewes lambed. I knew they were close. I had checked them the night before. I checked them at midnight. Still nothing. So I set my alarm for six and trying to be reasonable. I went out and found May, my one of my ewes, with a beautiful white lamb next to her. And then in the corner, a dead lamb, I thought. I picked it up, crying. It moved. I ran to the house as fast as I could. I didn't get any of it on video, but I started recording as soon as I got to the house. So this is his story. This is a two-part video series, just so I could compress two hours into reasonable amounts of time that you can watch, because I didn't think you wanted to watch two hours. So thank you for, um, for watching this, and I hope you enjoy. This is my morning. Came out to find a frozen lamb. Gotta try to get him back to the mama. It's a little boy. He's doing a lot better. Before he would, his jaw was like frozen and it was really cold. So I rushed in here and we microwaved some towels and got him warm and then we set up a heat lamp in our bathroom and he's already doing much better but I my big concern is I don't want a ball baby if I can help it and I gotta get him back up. He doesn't want to stand. Yeah I know. Yeah there you go. Good boy. So um, the m most important thing is to get him back onto mama and get some colostrum in him. So that's my next step. Good morning YouTube. This is Winston. He is our little East Frisian Lacan um, ram lamb. He got rejected by his mama. His sister is probably a third to half as big as he, or tw it, it's just his sister's bigger. And mommy just didn't want anything to do with him. Katie found him uh, cold and shivering over in the corner. And we tried getting him to latch onto mama and he just wasn't having it. But we're gonna see if we can Save this little guy. His name is Winston. I think Winston's gonna be my new homeboy. I have very, very low hopes of getting him on the mama. I know, I understand. So. Is the girl nursing at all? The girl's up and around. She's already been resting. That's a very healthy lamb over there holding her head up and bright eyes. She's probably born at 1 a.m. Oh, so she's already... And she was completely dry and running gotcha. around, which is why this one got forgotten, mm -hmm. because that one was so hardy that when she dropped this one, she probably started cleaning it up and was just distracted mm -hmm. and totally forgot. I found him over there in that corner. Oh, so sad. Like, his head was propped up on the, the fencing. And I picked him up, he was cold, and I thought he was dead and stiff, and then he moved, and he did a little bit of, like, eh. I thought he was fell asleep. <laughs> oh, he's really cold. You know, the, the timer runs when they're born. Like, they have to get colostrum. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, they just don't make it. And you gotta warm them up, but you also have to get the colostrum in them, because that gives their body energy to survive because they're no longer receiving um, nutrition from the mama. Right. They don't have any fat stores or anything like that. Like mm -hmm. they have to get up and drink. Yeah, I know you fell asleep again. <laughs> and in case you were wondering, YouTube, this is what people for the ethical treatment of animals looks like. <laughs> so friends, what, what you need to know is my wife has been doing this off and on for the last... <laughs> Oh god, we're old. 25 years? No, no. Fif 15 years ago, we were 22. No. Uh, yeah, 37 minus 15 is 22. 
Yeah. 25 years? Mm -hmm. 25 years? Yeah. Yeah. So for the last 25 years. I've had baby animals. Off and on, this has been a way of life. In, in high school, she raised pygmy goats and had a pygmy goat bottle baby. And her dad found it in her room one day. No, and it was uh, under the covers. It was like under the, the Yeah, and it got kicked out. He wouldn't let me sleep. He just wanted his mama. I'm actually impressed that you're doing this right now, dude, because you actually have a good, good section. Do you want to try to put him on mama? Well, yeah, I just see him. He keeps falling asleep. I don't know. Do you want to stay out here or I'm going to try to get him on mama? Or do you, if you want a bottle, baby? If you get him on mama, that'd be good, but. <laughs> homegirl over there is huge. Is she going to let him eat? <laughs> Hey, look at that. He still can't stand. What you never seen? Oh. Honestly, Sam, when we went to bed last night, I had no idea we would be like barnyard lactation consultants. Mm -hmm. mm. Come on, Winston. His mouth is finally warm. It's like an ice cube. Yeah. Yeah. He got some colostrum. He keeps wanting to fall asleep. Definitely want to leave him out here. Well, it's official. A little Winston's going to the house with us. We're going to put some towels in the dryer, get a heating pad going, and uh, try to try to give this guy a go at life. Oh, poor guy, shivering. So what's the verdict? This is Winston Everett Charles the I want to see. He's just a cute little cutie. He is going through this bottle. Is he? He's really hungry. Is this what he's going to eat? This is his food. There's just something about baby lambs on a bottle. <laughs> he's just so cute. Does he got the cutest face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe we can make him. I like his little cute ears. Fuzzy. Hey, yeah. He's definitely perked up. Yeah, his eyes are open. He's still sitting. Okay. He was super cold. When I brought him in, he was frozen. But he wasn't in an ice book. <laughs> He's already pinking up and warming up. Yeah, because of this and this. His nose is still pretty cold. But... And he's up. Frozen lamb is surviving. If that tail is any indication, I'd say Winston will do very well. What kind of sheep is he? He's a lacan. That's what kind. A lacan. <laughs> are we lacans or are we lacans? The cat is just perplexed. It's not a dog. It doesn't want anything to do with me. She should be grateful for. Her. She plays her cards right. She'll have a nice woolly place to lay atop his back when he's bigger. This was two ounces. Standing.
He found his little bleeder. Little bleats. He's got warm breath. Oh, good. Warm face. Oh, my goodness. I have never had that happen. Ever. I've never gone out to a cold land before. Okay, so we are going to go try to get Winston on his mama. One last Hail Mary. He was standing up in the house. Warm. Working on a bottle. He's warm. Warm. So we're going to try to put him on his mama. No. She's not pushing him away. Mama. Good mama. She's taking him still. Super good son. Good mama. No. Like you're gonna look. It's Is she gonna let him nurse? Well, she, if she didn't want anything to do with him, she would have butted him. No. Oh, gotcha. But she was trying to help him come up. Oh, no. It's still really cold. He's not, though. He's not shivering. No. He's generating his own warmth. So I thought she was going to accept him because it looked like she was going to. And when I put him on her to start nursing, she would not let him. And she continued to push him out of the way gently, but not really accepting him. And I think she knew he was sickly and much smaller than the other lamb. So that's why she rejected him. So I brought him back inside in a box in my bathroom in a quiet spot because I was resigned. I have a bottle baby now and went to go focus on my other you that was in the process of lambing at the same time this was all going down. So the next video is going to have that story and I uh, hope you come back for that one and I will see you on the next video.